Mario. Mario. Mario, wake up. Whoa, running in place. He's overly cheerful. Finally, you're awake! I've been trying to wake you up for four hours now! What? Okay, that's pretty dedic a lot of dedication there. My name is Eddie! Right after Kamek caught you, the battle went completely downhill. So let's tell his name, and his name is Eddie. That's very nice. We were all outnumbered, and look at his face! Oh my god! It it's almost like, it looks like his, his other eyes shut, almost. Almost every toad ran away, abandoning the castle. His pouty face. Also, the Shine Sprite door must have been broken, since the Mushroom Kingdom is now shrouded in darkness. How did you... How were, how did you make that deduction? Oh, no! Standing here for four hours. No. Is he, like, psychic or something? Hmm. I mean... Oh, there's a Shine Sprite. What is it, Mario? Oh, God. Wow, a Shine Sprite! Wait, I thought they were all lost forever! Bowser destroyed them all! Or did he? His face goes from one emotion to the next almost instantly. Yeah, yeah, not just almost, it is instantly. If this one was just sitting there, then that means Bowser didn't destroy them all, but just scattered them. That means this is probably some overstanding the best for this picture! Come on, Mario, let's go put the Shine Sprite in the castle! <laughs> Alright, we're outside the castle. Um, as if you can tell, um, to the right here, we have that cannon that's unusable right now. This lake. Um, you can, you can just, of course, just spin to, uh, and I like those. Um, as I said, you have to press up to, well, I don't think, I believe I've said this yet. You have to press up to enter a door, and as I said, it's also the jump button, so that can get a bit disorienting in this game. Usually, I don't have a problem with pressing up to jump, but, yeah, uh, if you, if you were, theoretically, to go through here, that just tells us the controls again. This, uh, for some reason, I can't go to the left there, but usually, it's supposed to take you back to the tutorial level. It's so dark in here! Oh, I'll just go right through the door. Okay. I know. Um, uh, come on. You have to admit, his facial expressions, like, that th th you could picture him saying that. You need a shine sprite to open this door. That's, these doors are basically the same ordeal as in the actual Mario 64, with where you can't open them. Yeah, but it didn't have Eddie the Toad. <laughs> awesome. You need a total of eight shine sprites to unlock this door. Yeah, this is the same sort of ordeal. Let's see what he has to say now. Nothing. Okay, he's just stoic. A stoic. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, he's definitely... I can't believe we called him stoic. Yeah. This door is kind of unique. You need to have five-star coins to unlock the door. Different. And the this just leads you through around here. This door the, to the backyard. I mean, ah, come on. Yeah, ten shines where I still unlock it. Unlike the Mario 64, though, it doesn't. The backyard doesn't have a ghost house, and it. it has um, something else. And that oops, the door leads to, like the basement area. And this just leads us right back here, where Eddie repeats exactly what he said earlier. Oh well, let's go right through the door. Um, he is. And that that door, if you can see, is stand on top. Up the elevator. Actually, you know what? Take the star s sling star over there. It's faster. Don't worry, we had it installed as a surprise for the party. That is before Bowser came. Sorry, yawning. Just jump into it and press X to spin and blast it up to the top. Now, if we go to the right here, it's just another door that you need a key from, so you know more plot important, like. A plot relevant area. Like an area that's opened up by the plot. Eh. And Eddie is magically teleported into the door, it seems. Okay, give me the Shine Sprite. I'll keep watching the Shine Sprite as you can achieve more of the Shine Sprites! Or the Sprite Orb. There! Whenever you can. How do you do that? Whenever you collect a Shine Sprite, it should automatically place itself here! 
Now you need enough to overrule the spells Bowser just placed in the castle. How do you know this? For our next Shine Sprite, I thought I saw a door on the left side of that main room. Go over there. I'll stay here and make sure Kamek or Bowser doesn't do anything to the Shine Sprite we have. You're, you're, you're powerful enough to take on Kamek and Bowser? Wow, dude. Um, That's pretty awesome of you, I must admit. Now let's go through down. Go through down here. Yeah. Um, you can you can duck to get to dive out of those power stars if you those sling stars. I mean, in this game, if you so choose. Now, uh, welcome. Now that we're and this part here works just like it does in Mario 64. You just press up and you can go jump into the painting. Well, I mean, ah. In Mars 64, you could jump into the painting. Here, you press up like you're going through a door. And we have Bob-omb Battlefield, just like Mario 64, and Battle of King bob -omb. Not just like in Mario 64, though, because this battle plays out more like it does in Mario 64 DS, where you uh, throw King bob -omb's bomb back at, at him. There are, of course, a total of five missions, just like in the regular game. And here we have a feature, uh, Star Coins. Those unlock, of course, that door in the main room, and... And when you enter that room, there are more unlockables if you get more hidden star coins. Well, most of them are hidden. That one was just a uh, freebie. That's a map. Uh, sky, entrance, chomp rock, mount. Right. Um, the part the, the part in the far left is uh, what we're concerned about here today. Now, uh, whoa, I didn't see you there, but... Um, here's a hover flood right here, just like the... If I can land on it, as I said, the controls in this game are a bit slippery, so we have a bit... It can be a bit, you know, disorienting at times. And another star coin. This one, you just use flood to get up to it. I think it might be another way, but I don't... I think you could just drop down from up there, but I don't care. I'm just gonna use flood. Um... Um, as you can tell, I'm getting hurt quite a bit here. <laughs> And this cannon and that ledge up there will be... That's going to become important in Mission 2, but for now, we don't... In Mission 2, 3. But for now, we don't really uh, care about it. And that uh, large Goomba seems to take two spins to kill. And here we have the... Those, um... Boulder... Those rocks falling. Um, just like in Mario 64, except this time they're a bit more irritating. They come with a lot less warning. And they're fast, more faster. Beware of falling objects! Who would have... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I wonder if I should be aware of falling objects up here. It's not like I've already seen them. How come there's so many signs rehashing the same thing? Yeah, I, uh, I think you could just see there how these things can come out with... Come with little warning. And, uh, no, 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 get... Okay, uh, see? And that's because... Because this is just, you know, 2D, uh... You do have to climb up the ledge every time you fall. Uh, and, but if you come up here, make sure you come up here because uh, Star Coin. Oh boy, no! I, I thought I, you want. I was gonna say you want to use Flood to get back up there, but I just miserably failed at that. Just like with most things, but except it 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 actually causes me pain this time. Now let's go up here. Uh, um. And over here, luckily, we have, uh, just like in Mario 64, this, this heart here works just like it does in Mario 64. And here we have the fourth uh, star coin. You can just uh, flood back up here. And, uh, okay, um, thankfully we have this heart here, so it's not too irritating, but... Back to the heart, back to the heart. Now, I'm just going to hover a lot just to be safe. And I'm mostly... <coughs> Here's King uh, Babom. Mario, I remember you. You can't grab me and throw me this time, so I'll destroy you with my bombs! Now, if he attacks, he jumps up like that, you know. If he walks towards you, he'll... Uh, if he grabs up... I, was, I thought he'd grab me, but... Yeah, he can throw these bombs at you. And if he manages to grab you, he'll throw you, like, off the course. Or off the... Um, 
as you can see. Ah, uh, well, okay, if you couldn't realize it, those rings that... Yeah, when he jumps, these the ricochet kind of hurts you. That's kind of... And you also, it also has to be a bit precise. You most of the time, uh, you can't hit him in the crown on the top of his head, for instance. That won't work. You have to be a bit... And I'm getting, um... It is still very easy. Um, but every now... It, kinda, it might take a little while since I often miss. This time I actually got it perfect. I didn't... I never missed with the bombs once, except for... But whenever I hit him, it, it was always... It always did damage, I mean to say. And collecting shine sparks works like... Sh collecting shine sprites works just like collecting stars in Mario 64. I meant to say. Now we have this toad right here. Oh, the room on the far right side of the castle has been unlocked. According to this toad. Wow! I can't believe you beat King Babom in a battle! It looks so hard even reaching him! Let alone poning him like you did! You're my hero! Is this Eddie again, or is this someone else? Anyway, we still have two more missions. We have, well, five more missions here. Stay, or, yeah, four, I mean. Island in the Sky. There's Island in the Sky, jumping upward. Um, the first time I did this, or in my practice run of this, I mean, I accidentally did the second, third mission second. It's, and you kind of have to go to that area to do the third... Like, you have to go to the area of the third mission to do the second one, which is a little bit odd. I'll, I'll show you. Granted, I was able to get there with Flood, and uh, the issue is that you're supposed to get there. Like, when, 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 once you beat second mission, a Sling Star will be unlocked around here, and it'll take you up to about here. But I was able to get there just using Flood. Like, I like at this point right here, I could get to up there using Flood. I actually did this mission first. But if you go down here, we go to the area where our second mission is. I, or, or fall, or, actually, or save yourself using Flood, making the screen go on schizophrenic, except that I didn't save myself with Flood. But, yeah, Flood is actually really broken in this, in the sense that, you know, it makes, it makes the game, you know, really broken. This, re that, that will replenish your Flood, like, meter if it's low. I mean, you really shouldn't be running out of Flood in these early levels. It's not really that common for you to run out. In fact, I probably could do this, like, without replenishing my health whatsoever. I mean, maybe my water level whatsoever. Um, all you need to do is just make your way to the top here, uh, take out these stationary Koopas, and we have, a, uh, our ver this game's version of the wing cap. Now you can do a triple jump to unlock it, just like in Mario 64, and also the cannon. And we have one of those star coins up here. Let's see if I can get on my first try. No, I don't. Now let's... Fly back down. Ah, yes, I got it. With five star coins, you have just unlocked the level designer. Go check it out anytime soon. It's right in the right wing of the castle. Yes, that's the extra feature I was talking about. That wasn't uh, in the early version of the game I played. It wasn't quite there yet, but yeah, we have it. Now let's get into the cannon this time because it was going weird. But here, all you have to do is just uh, fly through here and... All right, come on, flood. Oh, come on. Okay, good. I got it this time. Yeah, uh... All I have to do is just to fly around there, and you'll get to the area you want to go. And a cold breeze whips through the castle. Why? Because you unlocked a door leading to a frosty new course. And here's the actual third mission that I did second. Sometimes a shine sprite can break down and survive. This is our five Silver Stars mission. Um, this game's equivalent of them, at least. Uh, just like the other ones, I'm gonna go catch Flood. Oh, come on. Or, or get hit by these Goombas. Either or. Now, going up in here... Or, sorry, let's go up this way. And... Let's... Up around here is where you want to go. See, this is the Sling Stars talking about that up here. You can use that to get up there. Let's see what the sign says. Uh oh, it just tells how to use a Sling Star. If you go up here, now I know the now this Sling Star gets you one of the uh, Silver Stars. Fairly easy mission. There's just one sitting right there. Uh, this one is reachable with um, Flood. 
Or you could just use this cannon. Um, that's probably what they intend you to do. Um, whoa, 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 that took me down quite a bit. Okay. Um, and let's get back up here. Uh, as I said, you can also reach this uh, little area up here with flood. Okay, for a second there, I thought that was another silver star. I don't know why I thought that, but apparently, um, s let's see. We have apparently a so smart that I just, you know. I know I was going to say with that thought, I really don't. We just have one more silver star. Let's land on this cloud to make sure we don't, you know. So that we don't fall off uh, after we've bought everything. No! Oh! oh okay. See? I defied, I defied fate. I defied fate. I defied fate. I'm the winner. I'm, no. No, you don't get to do that game. There we go. See? Ha! I fought fate. I didn't, I didn't jump off. Or fall off. I, wasn't, I, I wouldn't have intentionally jumped off. I mean, well, that sounds weird. Um, I'm gonna save, and I will see you next episode. Have a nice day, viewers.